the one-child policy lifted, the one-dog policy put in. Following suit of Beijing and other major cities in China, the city of Qingdao is putting a cap on the number of dogs a household is allowed to have. Officials say increasing cases have been reported of unleashed dogs on collected dog poop and people getting hurt by dogs. Song Wenzong has a one-year-old poodle named Mao Mao. He chose to register his dog with the local authorities. I'm being responsible for myself, for other people and for the dog. The one dog policy means what it says. People who already own more than one animal will be allowed to keep them. And urban pet lovers aren't just allowed any kind of dog. Over 40 different kinds of big dogs are banned as pets due to safety reasons. In addition, owners are required to pay a service fee of around 60 US dollars. The fee is for the upkeep of the animal, registration of the electronic information and the vaccine. It's symbolic. What the city spends on canine services is much more. Owners are also required to vaccinate their dogs and provide an immunization registration card. My dog has already been vaccinated. It now has a stronger immune system. This helps to prevent the spread of diseases. They only have to pay $60. As long as the dogs are healthy, we will vaccinate the dog every year without charging other fees. The car contains not only the vaccine record, but also information on the owner and the dog. Every electronic card has an independent number for the dog. With a single scan, we can collect the information of the owner and the dog. If the dog gets lost and handed in, we can easily scan the card and return the dog to its owner. The rise of China's modern middle class has led to a rapid increase in the ownership of pet dogs, until perhaps now.